the obsidian. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't um, have it. I need to see for myself, it. Cap. I need to see for myself. <laughs> no. No. I worked so hard to sneak past you. Today, my friend tried to hunt me down in Minecraft Manhunt. Hey, what you doing? Ah! But there's a catch. I secretly added a data pack to the server that allows me to trade with any block. To make it even better, every single block has custom trades and even modded armor and weapons that make me super powerful. How oh, about this? Uh, yeah! Oh my god. You know what? This smoke! Oh. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Will I be able to beat Minecraft before they take me out just one time? Alright, guys, well, good luck. I'm going. Oh, gotta take any advantage I can get. Come on. Are they actually following me? I can't hear them. I can't hear them. I don't think they, I think they might actually be letting me go. No, they're right behind me. I can hear it. Okay. Hi, Jerry. I am a fish. I am a fish. Jerry. Uh, yeah, Cap or F5. This oh. river looks very familiar. Oh, no. Okay, I see Dropsy on land. I see Cappy behind me. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ow. Oh, I got smacked in the butt. Oh, we need to come up for air. Okay, there we go. Came up for air. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. So early game, we're gonna have to go ahead and collect ourselves some food just to make sure some of this doesn't keep happening again. I mean, there is some low-hanging fruit, like obviously the salmon to be a good start, and then I can focus on like steak or harder to do things. And now that I lost, I can talk about it too. Trading with blocks is gonna be huge as well, because I don't know what trades there are specifically for every block, but there might be like food in there. There could be anything at all, right? So I think first things first, we have to prioritize that. So in order to buy the gem set, you just need copper and wood. Some pretty basic materials. The wood will be good because you could surround a copper ore with it in order to get yourself one trading gem, which will allow me to convert any block in the game into a trader. Also from there, the wood block serves as your main base to buy emeralds from, and emeralds are extremely important for this as well. But the food problem is not going to go away anytime soon. I hear piggies, though! Now, luckily enough, these blocks can trade us some really overpowered things. And there it is. There's already some copper right there. All right, before we get into that, I do want to start chopping away at some of these piggies. I think that's going to be very, very important. And also getting ourselves a furnace to cook it up. All right, here we go. One, two, three. And that's a stone pick. Come on, we got to hurry. We got to hurry. They are probably not far behind us, to be honest. Although they might be taking it easy. They might be trying to go a little slow on me at the beginning of this. Because to be fair, they have no idea what's up my sleeve, right? Everything's going to be a surprise to them when it comes out. All right, we got that going there. Now let's get one stone sword. All right, there we go. Stone sword check. Now, where is this piggy that keeps, keeps making his noises at me? Where are you? There he is. All right, you... We need the pork chops! And your friend over here. Oh, there's a couple of piggies around here. Let's go. Early game. Early game lead! There we go, some sheep. For me a little more, Mr. Sheep. Nice, all right. It's not like fantastic, but that is a decent enough start to have eight cooked pork chop working for us. Now, the good news is though, we do have a lot of this copper ore right here. So this is a decent amount. I want to leave one behind though, because I know I can turn that into a trading block. Now, one thing that we do have to start working on is we're going to have to go ahead and get for ourselves some regular logs in order to convert this over. So we need to go find a forest, which obviously there should be no shortage of that in Minecraft, I would hope. You know what, maybe I take all my stuff and move my encampment. We probably find a closer copper source early on anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Let's just go ahead and get this. Also, let's make ourselves a stone axe, and let's get another furnace going so we can be cooking up everything faster. Probably at all times safe to have two of these. And we're not going to be coming back to this. I'll just take the copper ore as it is. Thank you. Yeah, that's plenty of trading gems. I hear walking. I can't tell if that was a mob or a player. I'm starting to get a little scared here. Do you hear that? I hear the footsteps. I know you're out there! Dude, I totally heard footsteps. No, oh, maybe it's in my head. It may literally just be in my head. All right, we're taking this with us. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. All right, we got a good amount of food, but we are officially out of any kind of wood, really. We have a plank, which you can't do anything with one. Oh, dude, coal was right here the whole time. Let's grab some of that while we're still around here. Just so we have that on hand. Definitely want to kill any farm animals I see along the way. Definitely want to do that. And some feathers, too. That'll help, obviously, in case we don't get to trade for any arrows or anything later on. Be nice for when we have to kill the Ender Dragon. That's how confident I am. It's not if, it's when we face the Ender Dragon, all right? No messing around around here. 
And that's an open cow field. Love to see it. Bring on the steak, please. Good stuff. Now, interesting enough, weirdly with wool, that's one of the special blocks to trade with. So every block has different trades. Some of them are randomized, and some of them have special trades. The special ones are typically like ore-based ones. However, for whatever reason, they also exist in wool. So not really sure what that's about, but yeah. All right, so here we go. Now that we have this, you only need four of these in order to make one trading gem. All right, so let me just grab a couple more going here. I would like to get nine total just to make some trading gems. And of course, then also have one block that I could turn into a special emerald trader. Oh, dude, this forest is not a safe place at all. All right, we're going to live inside this tree for now. Pretty much is all you have to do. You just surround copper ore like this. And boom, you get yourself some trading gems. Now, I can use this on any block that I want. The first primary one, and it's going to be your best friend, is this log trader right here. So if I go ahead and put that trading gem on it, it converts it into a trader. And as you can see, I can just trade in planks in order to get emeralds. Now, the reason that's important is because you can go ahead and drop the trading gem on literally anything. See, we did a leaf there, and you could trade emeralds for different things. Like, a saddle's actually pretty OP. That's... I was making an example of how bad those are supposed to be. That that was not bad. All right, well, we had something good come up. Uh, to be fair, they are randomized. However, when it comes to the ores, that's where you're going to get special items and things like that. So you want to keep your eyes out for the ores. Oh my gosh, bro. Come on. We're just trying to collect up planks, dude. I don't need this kind of stress. Just go away. We don't even have armor yet, dude. There we go. I need to find myself a copper ore because I know the copper ore trader has some pretty buffed out weaponry. So that's going to be our big goal is to get to that first. All right. There's no way this isn't enough planks to get us enough emeralds that we could trade with it. So let's bring this on home to our special emerald trader. There you go. 22 emeralds we just got from that. That's perfect. So unfortunately, we can't take it with us. So we might have to head out in a second. However, before we do, I am going to purchase one saddle. There we go. Now we can get ourselves a horse. Which actually is pretty insane. The game has been very generous with all the farm animals that's been thrown at us. Uh, let's get some distance between us and them. Go, Steve. Go. Go, Steve. Oh, potential go. cave system. Come on. Have something good in here for us, please. Hey, what you doing? Ah! Hey, what you doing? Oh! Drone. Oh! 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 Hey, what you what doing? the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You get away! You get away from me! That, that actually was terrifying, dude. Okay, okay. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. Come on. Oh, where'd you go? Oh my gosh! That actually worked. I might have lost them. I literally might have lost them, dude. That was so freaky. I was like, I finally found a cave system. Things are good, and then things were not good. There it is. Perfect. So now we're going to turn this into a trading copper block. And boom, there it is. The electro blade. Plus nine attack damage. And it can also spawn in an electro trap that deals a ton of damage and causes lightning strikes. It's insanely OP. We love it. We love that. Okay, we only have one trading gem left, so we're going to have to be very careful with that. Now, oddly enough, iron ore is treated like any other block in terms of trading, which is kind of annoying, but... You know, it's fine. Also, with this weapon here and the fact that we could shock and all scare them with the electronic strike, I think they're going to be able to leave us alone for a little bit. It's good. It'll buy us just, you know, the tiniest bit of time here. All right, let me show you guys the Electroblade and how it works real quick. It has a 30-second cooldown, but I'm going to use Shift real quick and fire and take a look at that. Intern. Well, there goes my cameraman. <laughs> Intern whispers, ow. <laughs> There goes my hero. This is a good situation to be in. So we got the Electroblade, we got some food, and we're slowly progressing towards iron. Oh no, I'd say good job. No rush. So Diamond Ore, obviously, is going to be very important just for the sake of getting diamonds. However, those trades that it can provide as well are going to be absolutely broken, I'm sure. And you know what? I just realized as well, we do have wool. Let's try it out real quick. Oh, but the thing is, we're, this is our last trading gem. All right, we got to go back to the surface then before we do anything else. Okay, what can we get from... A sheep head. Hold right click to scaffold with random colors of wool. Loads of cooked mu... Bro. All that smelting and everything was for nothing. We now have more food than we know what to do with. And hold for a scaffold. I mean, I'll buy it. Let's give it a try. We'll head back up to the surface then and give this a go. I'm like really curious what that'll do though. All right, so now that we're back on the surface, let's go ahead and try it out. 
that that's it. it it just puts hold right oh hold right click oh wait what so can i use this to just bro bro you're lying right now look at this okay the wool trader is op we basically have infinite food and we get to do cool stuff like that oh my gosh that's gonna make running away from these guys so much easier dude who needs a horse when you have that working for you gems which is nice and now we need to get some plankerinos okay so that'll be our trading block right there so that's what we're going to be dealing with dude the electro blade's nice and all but we need to start worrying about like traditional armor and also checking out some of these other traits you know all these things are important isn't it iron pick all right so dropsy's already got iron which means all of them have iron dropsy has diamonds well we are in trouble <laughs> jeez dude I'm gonna laugh when this is a singular diamond. Yeah, right. We have two diamonds to our name spread across the three of us. Hey, you know what? That's more than Gary has right now. <laughs> that is true. Truth. Well, there's something coming, Steve. Hey, can we all just, with the moment we get diamonds, can we just start calling Jerry a brokey? <laughs> like in chat? Was it one diamond? Huh? Yeah, it was one. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> you wish that was you. Yeah. That's mean. Brokey. Bro. This guy's gonna come at me and call me a brokey like that. All right, let's get out of here, see if we can find a new mine shaft. Up, up, and away, sheep's head. Now we get a little eye in the sky view, see if we find any mine shafts beneath us. Oh, speaking of which. That looks a very promising. Hey, ya boy built his first pick. Honestly, another thing I really need to, I feel like shield is an imperative as well. Yeah, those two definitely need to be made first. To be fair, this sword is pretty good. I should just, yeah, I was gonna say, like, why am I not using this right now? All right, that's gonna attract even more of them to come at us. Actually, they might just be proper lost. Oh, this is a big iron vein. How many does that bring us to? So we have 12 iron total if we smelt it all up. Yo, diamonds! Let's go, dude! All right, this is big for us. We're keeping one of these, all right? Let's see what the trade is. All I know is it's gonna be overpowered. I just don't know what it is. Uh, I think, I think that I accidentally used the block next to it. There we go. That one worked, okay. And, a sharp seven? Dude, that's somehow even better than our current blade. We're getting that. And then what is this? A singularity? Oh, bro. Bro. Shoots a diamond. This right here is insane, too. Let's just trade it all out. Dude, we need more. We need more gems. We need more gems. Oh, my gosh. Do we ever. Okay, let's craft the armor up quick before one of them finds me and starts causing problems. Perfect. And then I'm probably just gonna have to find a water source and do it the old water bucket trick way. So in terms of making a portal, which is fine. Dude, this is crazy. Things are starting to kind of turn around for us here, huh? Let's see what this diamond singularity thing's about. It says sneak to shoot a strong diamond. <gasps> what? was that? All right, you're going to the front of the hot bar there, dude. I'm genuinely so confused right now. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's really good to know. All right, let's head back up topside, get ourselves some emeralds ASAP. Okay, so emeralds are going to be the key to us getting full diamond armor. Get out of here, dude. Don't you know what kind of sword we got? We're unbeatable, dude. All right, that gave me a bunch of emeralds there. Okay, so how come the oak log trade doesn't go? But the dark oak always runs out. All right, so let's just keep collecting regular oak then. Clearly dark oak, it just doesn't like. Yo, Cap just got covered me with diamond? Oh, these guys are coming prepared. They're, they're coming correct for this fight. What is, well, first of all, first of all, taking out this guy. This has to be uh. either a structure or Jerry did something. Rats. No wonder I. I think our best. You guys already have the diamond pickaxe, or? Uh, yeah, I got one. 
Okay, so we just gotta right, find let's lava. See armor. Let's see if we can sneak up on Jerome and maybe see what he's doing. Well, we need nine more diamonds total. And then we have a full set, which is epic. Oh, I just heard an explosion. I see names. I see names. Stand back! You don't want this smoke! You don't Woo! want this! How oh, about this? Oh. Yeah! Oh my God. You don't want oh. this smoke! Oh. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Ooga, 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 ooga. What'd you want? You think you're so tough? You think you're so tough, hand punks? Yeah, I do think I'm tough. I got a shield. Oh, that's what you think. We gotta take the rainbow tr thing away. We gotta take the rainbow. What is the away. rainbow trail? The rainbow what trail. What is this, dude? It is the trail of hopes and dreams. You don't want to make that jump. Oh, oh God! Fire oh, God. away! Oh my gosh, dude, we gotta get out of here. I didn't have my sheep's head ready. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I think we're, I think we finally got the sheep's head ready. Now it's time. Come on, we gotta get going from here. Oh, if I have the shield on me, it makes running away that much harder. There we go. Let's go. Wait, I got an idea. I got a really good idea. Hey, 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 guys. How's it going down there? I'm fine enough. What are you do What is that in your hand? <laughs> this isn't normal Minecraft. Don't worry about it, Steve. Don't worry about it. I would just recommend you guys get on out of here. I gotta lose them because I gotta get back to that cave where I know that iron is. Because otherwise, that's gonna really hurt us bad. Alright, so we just gotta lose them for now. And we gotta go and take over. Go, and now, jump down here. Perfect, perfect. Alright, Operation Getaway. Get more emeralds. Profit. And I also don't remember how many emeralds I need to trade with that anyway. So, let's just go absolutely crazy. We've got a diamond axe, right? I don't think it's insane to say let's get 64 logs worth. There's no way, though, after all that, that that isn't enough, right? Like, that's that's got to be enough. All right, also, I played my hand. They now know exactly what I have access to. Well, at least some of the weapons, anyway. They know about the diamond mine. They know about the sheep head, and they know about the lightning sword. So pretty much, I played all my cards. They know everything. However, there might be more things we could trade with in the future. Like, I know Soul Sand, weirdly enough, has some custom trades that are pretty epic. So we might want to keep our eyes peeled for that bad boy. All right, there we go. That's one whole stack of those. So now if I was to trade with this log right here. Okay, right click. Bro, it's a whole zombie armada now. Not now! Can't you see I'm busy? All right, now that's what we're talking about there. Okay, so we have... Dude, we literally have 78 emeralds. That's gonna be way more than enough diamonds for this. Now just to make our way back. Luckily, I can see our rainbow bridge in the horizon, so we just gotta walk this way. All right, let's buy... Just oodles and boodles of diamonds, honestly. Just in case we need extra. I'll buy, like, 20. There. I don't want to waste all of our emeralds on it, because there might be future trades that'll be even better. But for now, that's pretty insane. Also, I'm going to keep the shield off of us for now because we can't use the sheep head when we do. All right, we got all that. Let's try and get out of here and see if we can find that lava source now. Oh, there we go. Lava source. Uh, all right, here we go. Will I be able to pull off the MLG water bucket, though, is the question. Also, I only have one water bucket, which is kind of a problem. Huh. Well, because of that, maybe it is better if I just do the diamond pickaxe strat. Oh, it's going to be annoying, but whatever. Let's do it. All right, that'll convert over to that. And now I need to go ahead and mine up a bunch of this junk. And now they know, and now because of that achievement, they know we got obsidian. So they know we're trying to make our way over to the nether. So, yikes, basically, is what I'm saying here. Yikes. Oh, wait. oh my god. Oh god, the worst thing ever in Minecraft. <laughs> Babies. <laughs> I hate that they move faster. Why are they faster? Because they're close. Oh, wait. Oh, I see his, <laughs> I see his name. <laughs> oh, God. I see his name over there. I think he's headed to the nether right now. He got the ice bucket challenge. Oh, okay, well, we can just, just follow his portal. His yeah, portal. yeah, hold on. Let's uh, let's be quiet and sneak up on him. Also, there's so many more blocks as well that we get to trade with. Like, Lapis, for instance, gives you some really good stuff. Probably good for enchant. So if we ever come across that, awesome. If not, I'm not going to go out of my way because... You know, obviously there's danger afoot. All right, this should be the last obsidian that we need if you count the two on the floor there. So, one, two, three. And you just kind of put this down here. 
One, two, and then one, two, three. And now we got the frame. We have the iron. We just need a singular flint. Oh, hey there, Enderman. You can be my first pearl. And you were. Nice, dude. All right, let's take this over here. Okay, come on. Give us good rolls. Give us the flint. Give us the flint. Bro, what? Give us the flint. Flint. Come on, flint. Dude, I need to get in there ASAP. Oh, dude, I just realized with a sheep head, that's gonna make looking for a nether fortress so much easier. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. Big checkpoint here. We made it to the nether. That's what you love to see. All right, he's in. All right, let's go. Okay, Do we want to follow him immediately? Or no, like give it a sec? No, and then make it somewhere else. <laughs> it still has to be somewhat close for it to um go through. But yeah, we can... uh. <laughs> we're like breaking his portal and making it. Oh wait, wait, wait. no, no, no! We go inside after a while and then break that portal and move it. <laughs> yes, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, yeah, yeah, we should wait like like five minutes. We should just sit here and chill. Go in, break <laughs> it, dude. Oh my god, that's so good. While we're here, we got to keep our eyes peeled for the soul sand. Okay, soul sand's gonna be big for us to trade with. Also, let's mark down our coordinates. 58 by 123. All right, I wrote it down. Now we know how to get back to it if we need. Well, it's certainly the nether, that's for sure. I'm afraid of like, I mean, I guess I could full sprint. It seems to be working well. There we go. Dude, this is hilarious. And works as a good trail marker too, so we know how to get back whenever we need. I can't believe this right now. Just skipping over all the most dangerous parts of the nether, dude. I don't want to jinx myself, but like, this is working out. Oh, there it is, soul sand. All right, we'll hop down to try it out on some of these. Let me make sure I always mess this up. Are you soul sand and the other one's soul soil? That's soul sand, all right. Can you chill out? We're trying to do something here, guest. All right. Jeez, the nerve of some people. All right, here we go. Oh, I think that fell into that one. Not that that matters, really. I mean, that's fine. Filled soul jar. Right click to consume, soul speed four. Okay, we don't need that. Oh, what? we're not summoning the wither. I will buy one of these though. What in the world is this? I drank it. Yo, uh, yeah, order up, please. Order up on these a lot. Like, dude, shut it down right now with all these. There we go, all right. Well, that's plenty of them, dude. That is insane. I love that. All right, let's get back up to our trail here. All right, they have found my portal. Or they made their own. Either one. We're just breaking the portal. We're not staying here. We're breaking his portal and moving it and then leaving. <laughs> we can, um... Bro, he got the worst spawn ever. Indeed, right? <laughs> right? All right, let's... He'll be let's, thanking us, honestly. Let's, let's tear this down and then rebuild it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have flint and steel? Wait. And Dropsy's here. Last but not least, I'm sure Cappy's gonna be coming. Th and there it is. Three peas in a pod. The worst part is even after we find this nether fortress, we still have to get a bunch of ender pearls anyway. We're gonna trade with some of the piglins, but the only problem is I didn't bring any gold with me, which actually is more than a small problem. It's kind of like a huge, humongous, that's, yeah, it's not gonna work. All right, so back to the drawing board. Uh-oh, uh-oh, skeleton's trying to shoot me down. Oh, whoa, 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 bro. That actually kind of worked for a second there. I just lost my footing. What the heck? Well, I didn't find another fortress, but I did find a warped forest, which is going to be great. Now, if only this sword came with looting on it. Can you imagine if it had like looting four instead of sharp four? This would be ogre before it even started. Thank you. How many are we at? Three. I mean, three ain't bad, dude. I would like to, in a perfect world, get to like 12, but 10's fine. Now keep in mind, they're probably right behind me, and I'm sure they're just gonna be following that rainbow pathway. So the good news is that even if they follow that rainbow path that I have and manage to find me way over here, it doesn't matter, because I can just use it to get away at the same time, too. So pretty much, I have that special ability that'll make it nearly impossible to catch up to me in the nether. And, uh, better's gonna have to live with that. Oh, come on, give me another one. Dude, our luck has been pretty nuts with these Endermen. That's like, that drop rate is broken. But we got six now. So let's get at least six more and we'll be fine. And there's the Nether Fortress. So perfect. Okay, so it's pretty much attached to the Warp Forest. There's a double whammy jablammy of fun. 
Ice Bucket Channel. Are they... They were already in here, I thought. Oh, literally, the fortress is right below my feet, too. How did I miss that? Uh, but also, I'm so confused right now. Why are they getting Obsidian together? This doesn't make any sense. Unless they're trapping the portal so that if I come out, I die? That's very possible. Yes. All right, so hear me out. I know we said we were going to pick this thing up and move it. We can just straight up steal it so we can leave whenever we're done in here. Yeah, yeah. Let, like, pick yeah, it all up. Yeah, pick it let's, all up and just go. <laughs> let's pick it all up and just go. And I've got a sign to say "Womp Womp" where it stood. <laughs> can, can I put wait, down you have cobblestone the flint, right? yeah, instead? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let yeah, me. Yeah, um, yeah. So wait, we'll who has an iron ingot on him? Not it. No iron ingot before I break this. I got a diamond. Mm. All right, let's let's go get some iron. Okay, I'll I'll wait here to keep keep a watch. I'm taking we the whole thing down, so this long. is gonna take me a sec. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I have one diamond. You Great, have, but who how has many the diamonds? Steve? Do you have? Steve, don't do this. I saw it in your hand. I have one diamond. <laughs> Steve, Steve, don't do this. Dropy, do you happen to have one spare diamond? Because then we could have two uh, diamond no. pickaxes. Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Some of the endermen started respawning. I pretty much had to go from one end of the biome to the other in order to force these guys to spawn. It seems, which is fine, but a little bit tedious. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. No, you didn't give me a pearl. Never mind. No, thank you. Garbage. Oh my gosh. Garbage. Come on. Give me Ender Pearl. Nothing again. Dude, all my Enderman luck went down the drain all of a sudden. All right, there we go. There's one at least. So if they are going to be trapping the nether portal, assuming that's why they would go ahead and get obsidian, I might want to get some extra ender pearls so I can teleport around. You know? Then again, if it's completely trapped, I can't really ender pearl out of there anyway. All around, this is not going to be a good situation wherever they're planning, but I'm pretty positive they're going for a trapped portal strat. All right, I'm going to kill this enemy because he's right next to me, but I do have 12. So, yeah, it's going to be the last one I kill. 13 is more than enough. All right, now let's see if we can get down there safely. They're probably decently close by as well, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. All right, this, I will take a little bit of fall damage, but I'll definitely live. Oh, that's right, I could do that to limit the fall damage as well. Like every time I'm gonna fall, just put down a block. Hey. The good part is too, is that you get an achievement when you come in here. And the reason why that's good is because if they manage to catch up to me, I'll be the first to know it. Yo! Yo, that's literally three of them. No, 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 no. Three wither... wither no, you get away from me, wither skeletons. Bro, three wither skeletons around that corner? You gotta be kidding me. All right, I think we lost them. Let's see if there's anything out here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's where the blaze spawner is. Also, why do I have my iron pick out instead of my diamond one? What the heck is wrong with me? All right, so I can just do this to build a... Dude, this is... I love this. The sheep head, I wish I could have this in vanilla Minecraft. This just makes life so much easier. Oh, good. It's a double whammy jablammy. I probably should have had my shield in my inventory for this. Okay. Well, there's our first blaze rod. The first of hopefully at least six. We can get seven for good measure because we do have a 13th ender pearl, but it's kind of a little bit of overkill. That's fine, though. Dude, Wither Skeletons. I think Wither Effect might be my least favorite negative effect. Oh my gosh. And now we have angered an entire army of pigmen. Great. Bro, I didn't mean to hit you, okay? Yes, I know, pig zombie. But you were camping right next to the blaze spawner. So what did you expect to happen? All right, worst case, we have the ripcord if I can drink those super potions. Oh, bro, they just spawned right on top of me there. All right, we need to heal up a little bit here, please. I'm gonna hide away in here for a second. Actually, never mind, no need to hide. We're good. Oh, dude, there's three of them now. All right, that's six. I mean, I'm already here. I might as well get the seventh. Definitely gonna be overkill and not necessary, but... Oh... All right, honestly, I, I'm done waiting. The more time we waste, the worse this gets. It's fine. It's definitely fine having 12 eyes of enter. All right, well, time to get on out of here. 
Dude, I think my favorite part about this is that you can jump as well just to get up higher and higher. There we go. So we'll follow our old rainbow trail back home, and hopefully we can get back to those coordinates soon. Well, I made it back to the portal, but it's gone, and there's a sign that says Womp Womp. But there is a door, so assuming this is trapped, but I also assume that the only way I'm getting back to another portal is through there. And something immediately just blew up, so my suspicions are probably correct. Now, one thing I should do real quick is I have only 18 mutton left, which is normally a good amount, but if we're going to beat the game, I should probably have a little bit more, so let's rebuy some of those. There we go, 50. All right, well... Let's get in there! I have a bad feeling I'm gonna step on a pressure plate or something and then just, it's over. Let's see. No, everything seems fine. What the heck? Okay, well, they gotta be around here somewhere, right? I'm guessing they are anyway. Okay, this looks like a man-made bridge. So they probably went up here. Huh. I probably should have thought about this and brought extra obsidian. I... Huh. Dude, I have no idea where they are. This is so bad, dude. This is actually really bad. All right. Maybe there's another, like, clue or something I could have found. Let me go back to there where the portal was and see if there's anything over there. Like, here's my old trail. Maybe they saw that and... Took it? I don't really know, though, because it looked like they had built out over the other side. Because the only way I'm getting out of here is finding them and taking the obsidian from them. Provided they didn't drop it off a cliff. Which, if they were smart, they probably would have done. But then again, they would never be able to get back themselves. So I guess it's kind of like a catch-22. You know what I'm saying? So they can't trap themselves, so they can't get rid of the obsidian. You know, I realistically should also have my Electroblade on me. Just because even though this does more attack damage, the electric shock's just additive. And it's kind of ranged, so it's probably better that I have it than not. They definitely followed this trail all the way here, right? Like, this is totally what they did. Hey, oh! He Stevie? found me! He found me! Hey, oh! Dude! Dude, Run! I, you actually almost got away with that, too! Oh, Flint Steel. That's a good sign. Did you have my obsidian? Obsidian, 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 obsidian. He didn't have my obsidian. No shot. I'll take the blue pickles, but he didn't have the obsidian. Oh, come on. Which of these guys has it? Which of you has it? Okay. So they were close enough that Steve yelled for help, right? So they're definitely in this forest somewhere. Wait, there he is! Oh, God! Uh, Cappy! Oh, leave me alone! I just wanted the flint and steel! Oh! Give me the obsidian! <laughs> I don't have it! I don't have it! I don't uh, have it! I need to see for myself, it. Cap. I need to see for myself! <laughs> no! No! I worked so hard to sneak past you! It was so... No oh, memes. Get Have over some respect, here. Jerry! The hustle is real! No respect for a portal <laughs> thief! Oh, he has, uh, he has some arrows. I can use those. Never mind, I'm not using any arrows. Bro. Will you get out of here? I'm trying to do something, guest! Oh my gosh. Bro. The problem is I need to kill him because otherwise he's gonna blow up any of the loot and there might be obsidian in there. Thank you. All right, let's go take a look at the loot and see if there was, in fact, any obsidian. And the answer is no. So then last but not least, it must be Dropsy that has the obsidian. I'm assuming she's back in the forest. Hey, yo, what's this? I just need the obsidian! Okay, obsidian, obsidian. Oh, she's mad. How does Steve keep dying to lava? Hey oh, there we go, obsidian. Let's go. Um, boom, 14 obsidian. Yeah, we're rolling now. They also all died. So unless they had backup gear, that's probably going to be it for them. All right. Let's get out of this nightmare and start getting ready to beat the game. Here we go, Flint and Steel. Get, get, get going. Okay, I think we tell... No, we didn't. There we go. I was like, did we get trapped or what the heck? Dude, that was so stressful. 
When I thought they literally took the portal, I was like, it's over. We're never finishing this. Okay, we threw it. Oh, okay. We're going over the mountains, I guess. And what's the F3 on this? Wow! We are insanely out of the map. So, yikes is all I can really say about that. This is, uh, is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? All right, I think we're about ready. We don't have any enchants, but I don't really know if we need any to kill the Ender Dragon if we've got such an insanely powerful sword. And keep in mind those crazy potions we got. Those crazy potions are worth any enchants. I'm sorry. Oh, well, maybe not any, but they're definitely worth, like, better than a sharp one, prot one setup. Those potions are crazy. All right, let's see. Oh, we're finally starting to go the other way! Well, that was disappointing. Um, okay, so it did just break and kind of head off in this direction. We gotta be extremely close then. It's gotta be, like, right around here. Dude, am I, like, losing my mind? Did I accidentally... I feel like the comment section is going to rip me to, to the shreds. Did I accidentally drop my diamond pickaxe thinking it was my iron pickaxe because of my color blindness? Because I'm pretty sure it's exactly what happened, and I feel like a complete idiot. Speaking of complete idiot, I'm digging straight down. I don't even care anymore. I mean, they're all dead. The only fear I have, really, I guess, is the ender dragon. Maybe some lava, but even then, I got this water bucket. I got these crazy potions. Like, I, I don't have a lot to worry about anymore. To be fair, though, the Ender Dragon could tail whip me off a cliff. That's entirely within the realm of possibilities. Oh! Amethyst! Bro, okay, Amethyst is actually really important for us. Because there's apparently some sick trades with it. So let's go ahead and set up a little trading thing right there. Alright, what do we got? What is... Amethyst crown. Right-click to wear. When worn, stand on amethyst for saturation. Sneak when worn to summon falling amethyst blocks on nearby enemies who are not wearing the amethyst crown, also gaining super buffs for a while. What? Okay, so that's just better than our diamond helmet. Except we can't wear it. So it's just, I guess it's like a little held item. Oh, right-click to wear. Oh, hey, oh, okay. So when standing on amethyst, does this work? Saturation! I don't even have to eat. Sneak when warned to summon falling amethyst blocks and nearby enemies. Dude! Uh, oh! It also gives you crazy buffs. Well, I love that. What I don't love is that there's no stronghold nearby. But this is good. This is good. This will help us with the Ender Dragon big time. Uh, hey, there we go. All right, word. It is also so dark, my gosh. Oh, okay, good. Soon as I complain, things start to get lit up a little bit. Nice. Now we just gotta, oh, that's a dead end. Always the annoying part, finding the actual portal. Watch it only have like one eye in there or zero and I just can't fill out the thing. I think I'll just quit. I genuinely think I'm over, I'm done. But I'm really curious about using this Amethyst Crown on the Ender Dragon. And perfect! Dude, I love the speed buff I get from this Amethyst Crown. Ooh, I only had one extra Ender Eye. That's it. Well, there's no point in setting down a bed, because I can't respawn anyway. Let's get in there. Oh, dude. It's kind of nerve-wracking getting this far in. But it'll be fine. Everything will be just fine. Luckily enough, I don't have any hunters to worry about anymore. It's just me and the Ender Dragon. And all these crystals that I have to break by hand because I don't have any real projectiles. Alright, there we go. Up and over. Up and over. Thank you. Let's go hop down here. Dude, this makes it so much easier for this fight. Alright, let's go across this one here. Is there an Enderman follow- There is an Enderman follow- Bro, what do you think you're doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Ender Dragon did not come to mess around. Oh, I forgot. I could just use my shift ability to help me out a bit, too. I am afraid of sprinting with that, though, with, like, full speed going and... Oh, bro, you're back? Why are you... Dude. Just in case I drank my soul jar there. Uh, how did Cappy find me so easily? What the heck? They all found me. That's... That's good. Oh, that's right. They have a compass. Duh. What am I saying? The thing is, they probably don't have any armor or anything. Right? So, like, whatever. 
I can't imagine it being that bad. They are gonna be a bit annoying though, and they probably have a bed set up too. Yep, they definitely have a bed set up. You could tell by the Sweet Dreams uh, achievement. So, they're gonna be quite annoying, it would seem. Okay, so the Ender Dragon just tried to hit me up. Luckily enough, he didn't take me out there, so that's fine. All right, let's go and descend from here. Now we just gotta fight him and watch out for my enemies. Also, let's get this soul jar going here. Oh, there we go, a little bit of extra damage on him. And we have to wait for him to land in order to actually do this, so... You know, I really should have come prepared and brought a bow and arrow. Because the longer I stay here, the more I'm chipping away at my food, literally solely because of fighting Enderman. He's landing. Drink up. Get that extra power. I'm gonna use that to get even extra, extra power. Dude! Okay, we shred when we have the soul jar combined with the amethyst ability. Oh, there's one of them. There's one of them. Boom! Not today! Hey, back off. Oh, yeah! Back oh! Off. You watch yourself with him! Eh. I'm so immensely disappointed in him. Another one. Another challenger. You get away from me! There's two of them. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta be on the prowl. There we go. Amethyst the speed up! No, no, no. You don't want... Uh oh Dragon's landing. Hey! Yes! <gasps> there we go. I'm right gonna, gonna sleep in that bed! Up. I'm gonna sleep in that bed! Go for it! You ain't gonna do nothing! Yeah, you ain't doing nothing with that bed! Oh, dude. Dude, one more land and he's done. One more land and he's done. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, bro, bro. Three? Why? 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 Literally, why? Go away. Oh, they're back. Well, dragon, you can't stop us, Jerry. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Wait, do I have slow falling? Oh my gosh! Did one of them just bed him? Did it... I'm like 90% sure that Cappy just blew up the dragon? GG! Have this feeling, baby. Haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me. Sleeping, caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now